We get to code and program robots to make them do different tasks. What we wanted to do was introduce students to some new technologies and some computer coding and some robotics. So we've been pushing that in our district. So we've brought in Derek Durham from the Abbotsford School District. We brought him in with his robots and we have grades four to eight today uh, from all over the district uh, learning all about technology. Uh, it's been a phenomenal experience for, for kids and for me as an educator to see the level of engagement uh, for young people for three hours to be that uh, intensely engaged in uh, problem solving, collaborating. Uh, I think that, that most of the kids didn't know each other, but yet they were working together uh, right off the bat and trying to work through the problems that Derek had given to them to solve using the robots and the coding. It was, a, it was an amazing morning. You are going to spin around uh, two 360s. So one, two, and come back to base. So one, two, go back to base. Yeah. So from here, 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 two 360s, back to base. Okay, go. And I'm an educator, I teach uh, high school, and I've been running uh, coding robotics for a number of years. It's basically uh, us telling computers uh, and controlling computers through a language. So we're using a language that's based on icons or called Blockly or Scratch-like language. Yeah. So typically we would get the robot to move forward a certain amount of time or, or distance and move back and turn left or right with some accuracy. Yeah. Um, it went pretty good. It's, you don't get it the first try. It takes, a, it takes a few tries to get it, right? But yeah, it's really fun. They will fail and they will make a mistake, but the mistake is not like an X on a piece of paper, I got it wrong, it's, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Let's go back and tweak the code and try again and repeat. Are you doing it here or here? Well, it's... If you did this and did second, that's your timer and you want two seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah. But sometimes it was frustrating because it wouldn't do what you wanted it to do. Sometimes you had to tweak up how, how much it moved or how much it turns, just little things, little details. Um, yeah, we got it. I got it to spin and do loops. I'd say it took about 10 minutes from zero to 60, uh, up and running. Uh, they figured out what to do and how to move the robots, how to program them, and after that they were on to their first challenge. Well, it was really my kind of first time coding. I think it went pretty well. It was really interesting. I think I learned a lot from it. I think it's pretty neat. We have 48 students out here today on a Saturday and they are learning coding, they're learning math, they're learning robotics and they're running back and forth with their computers, working with their partners, helping each other out and I think that's pretty amazing. These kids were showing that much excitement to, to be here on a, on a beautiful day learning lots about technology. Well it was really great. We just programmed them to move around and do some neat stuff. Yeah. You can start them off in kindergarten, in grade one, grade two, around coding concepts. The earlier the better. Uh, for what we're doing with the robot, typically it's grade three, grade four is kind of the best time to start. And grade four is not limiting. I've seen grade fours do more and been more capable than high school kids in some cases. Yeah. Um, I got it to do a full rotation, go forwards, backwards, and turn left and right. Uh, these sorts of technology skills and computer coding and understanding how computers work and how robotics work, these are skills that could transfer over to so many industries uh, throughout their career to really open up some real, real opportunities for them as they move forward.